I joke that, you know, maybe we all need better hobbies, you know, like I wish I liked building things or painting or whatever it might be. But what sometimes to some people looks like a distraction is actually real work that exercises the creativity where I feel like in our industry, we're not necessarily always allowed to be creative in a lot of ways. Creativity in some ways is more from a technical standpoint than it is from this. But I'm, I'm hopefully the more we do things like this, the storytelling and content creation and the rest of it becomes normal within in our industry because actually if you think about it in my opinion if we want to attract talent and we want to even probably get deeper with certain customers when they whether it's top of funnel discovery or different ways to consume like i love the fact that you all take tiktok clips which i think people underappreciate the level of training and exposure that happens there that's creative and then you bring it over it's another way to touch and to create opportunity that frankly i think a lot of industries outside of ours are doing regularly so i think it's wonderful that you all do this. Anybody that creates rights, whatever, I want to participate and help and build relationships with. Yeah, I think that's what it's all about, right, is building the relationships because I have countless people now that reach out to me for anything, a t-shirt, but also like I'm having a hard time finding this information about a product or do you know somebody that can help me with something? And that's it. Like that's the crux of all of this, right? How can we be a hub yeah. to help? Yeah. yeah. Think of the evolution though, like of, of our go-to-market strategies, like as an industry, right? We relied heavily on the channel, which we still do and still should and will always. And frankly, marketing departments and, and folks like ourselves, that were we made cut sheets and white papers. And then maybe, maybe when it got nuts, we did a website and even did in-app instructions and things like that, right? And we went to conferences and we put the booths together and the rest of stuff. But this idea of creating content that of building relationships, and I agree with you, like that's Part of the reason why like I, I want to do the documentary it's content marketing it builds different relationships different levels of trust people feel like they know you they come up to you and they ask questions like people know my wife and like I, i'm like Okay, interesting. But it's because you put them out there and to do that, but it, it builds a relationship. And, and frankly, I think it's going to be more of the norm of how this actually gets done. And what will be funny, though, is to look back and we'll see the beginnings of like what you all are doing. You age as you do this, too. So when you go and you look back at it, you're like, man, my hair was terrible. Uh, <laughs> or like the backdrops and like the, the things that you do and the rest of it. But I don't know. There's something appealing about it. And I think it's more companies need to be doing what you all are doing. You're building a brand frankly. And, and it's a different way to touch that I think is very approachable. Well, that's exactly what we were going for late now. Just kidding. Yeah, good. Thanks for, thanks well, for that. that's because you sent me the, the pre-notes and uh, <laughs> just reading right from this. No, I'm kidding.